Hi. Hola. Hi, here is Mr. Dozier. This is Michael Bradley. Hey, I'm Memphis. Hey. Hola. Hello. I'm here with Soccer.com. 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 And I'm talking with my friends at Soccer.com. See you soon. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review of the Junior Nike Magista Obra 2 in the Elite Pack colorway. Now inside the box, all you get are the shoes themselves. They do not come with any extras. You don't get a string bag like you do with the men's version. And speaking of the men's version, if you're familiar with those, you'll very clearly see that these are quite a bit different. Most notably that they don't, do not have a fly knit upper. Instead, it has a synthetic upper that's actually more similar to the Orden 2 than it is to the Obra 2. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what the differences are between the men's and youth variations of the Obra 2. We're gonna talk tech specs, performance details, take a look at the weight of the shoe as well. Not gonna put them on my feet because they don't fit me, that's fairly obvious. But nonetheless, we're gonna cover all the details that you should know if you were at all considering a pair of these for yourself. It's the first time we've had a junior mid-cut variation in the Magista lineup, so I figured I'd make a video on it because a lot of you guys were requesting to see one. If you are interested in a pair of these for yourself, you can check out the review page on my website, which you can access by either clicking the little pop-up on screen or the very first link down below in the description. And on that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We will be able to pick these up below their normal $150 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, a little pop-up on screen, link in the description, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's talk tech specs and really break down what exactly you're getting for your $150 in the form of the Junior Obra 2. Because a lot of websites, retailers, even Nike's own websites sometimes, they list tech specs that aren't actually accurate. They're just copied and pasted from the men's version of the Obra 2. And again, you can clearly see that this is not the same as the men's version, which I have right here. Very different looking shoes, entirely different materials for almost every aspect of the shoe. So if you are a junior size and you wanted the Obra 2, you can get it, but it's more so just the name as opposed to the actual shoe itself because it is quite a bit different in comparison to the men's variation. So with the junior version of the Obra 2, kind of like what we see with the junior version of the Superfly 5, a shoe that I did review, if you missed that, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen, is that this is the first takedown model in the men's line shrunken down into junior form. So instead of this being a shrunken down Obra 2, what you're getting in the form of the junior Obra 2 is a shrunken down Orden 2 from the men's line. So the upper is a synthetic leather material. Uh, some websites do have the Orden 2 listed as Kangalite, but it is not Kangalite, I can confirm that 100%. It's a synthetic leather material that is uh, a similar thickness to what we've seen in the past from uh, something like a CTR360 model, uh, but not overly thin, not overly thick. And then of course it does have their amplified texture in the form of these kind of raised dots on the surface of the upper itself that honestly don't make that big of a difference in, in terms of the feel on the ball, just mainly because it's a flat upper. It's not actually little cutouts like you'll find uh, in the uh, Flyknit Obra 2 where the upper is actually textured like this. It's not completely flat against your foot. So when it does make contact with the ball, the, the upper kind of flattens out. You just don't get that effect here because the upper is already flat and you just have little bumps added on top. But nonetheless, uh, it's interesting uh, and again, nothing like the Obra 2. Uh, so you can't really compare the two models. Uh, it's not a bad shoe by any means if you are a junior size. Unfortunately, you don't really have too many options as far as high-end shoes. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will ask, why didn't they just make the upper fly knit like they did with the men's variation? And I think the reasoning for that has a lot to do with pricing and just scaling down this particular design. This is already a very, very tightly knit, very, very, uh, I guess, uh, detailed and uh, super dense construction to this fly knit material and you can only make it so small I would assume so when you get down to even a size like this which is one of the bigger sizes a youth size 6 US I'm not sure that this would actually be able to scale down this small and even if they could scale it down this small you'd also have to consider the price difference the men's variation retails for $300 US the junior variation retails for half of that at 150 so can you imagine if you were half a size 
uh, in between the men's and the junior where if you were the junior, it's 150 and then if you wore the men's, it's $300. It's double the price for the same shoe. It just doesn't make all that much sense. And there's not a huge market for shoes uh, in, in junior sizing at the higher price point. So $150 for most parents is gonna be the max amount of money that they're gonna be willing to spend on a pair of shoes that their kid's likely gonna wear for one season then probably grow out of. So again, you have to consider all of these things when it comes to why Nike didn't make an Obra 2, a junior Obra 2 that's more similar to the men's variation, but this is what they gave us and that's kind of what I'm telling you about in today's video. So. Uh, no ACC on this particular shoe uh, because again, it is kind of just the men's takedown model shrunken down to junior size. I uh, have the same kind of lacing system where they're pushed ever so slightly to the medial side of the shoe. The center part is filled in with an elasticated knitted material. Is it actually fly knit? It doesn't feel like it. It feels like what you get on uh, more like the, the super, the junior super fly in that it's a little bit more loose, not quite as premium, but it doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, it's really unclear as to whether or not this is actual fly knit. It very well could be, but just based on the texturing of the material and being kind of more elasticated than, than more dense fly knit like you'll find on this particular collar, I, I just assume that this isn't an actual fly knit, but that's not something that's really gonna make that big of a difference. I know there is a demand for a lot of players wearing junior size shoes to have a mid-cut design, and we do finally have that for the Magista. This does not really have the same kind of anatomic shaping to it in that the ankles kind of bump out, but it still does have the curvature at the top of the collar. So it's a little bit lower at the front and back and then raised on the sides, which I think looks a little bit better and it does feel a little bit better uh, in comparison to just the straight cut collar at the top. Uh, it does have an internal plastic heel counter. Internally, you do have a synthetic leather liner with actually a decent amount of padding. It's a little bit of a different construction in comparison to the men's variation, but something that should be relatively comfortable. Of course, I can't really try them on to tell you how they feel because they aren't my size, but nonetheless, uh, it is a little bit different in comparison to the men's variation. Uh, insole fully removable, it features a mesh liner on top, and it's not quite the same again. It's a uh, white foam material. It's actually quite dense. Feels pretty good. Uh, nothing too bad as far as the insole goes. And then moving on to the outsole, it is a standard TPU plastic construction, relatively flexible, which is kind of what you want in a junior shoe. Uh, just because somebody wearing this is going to be generally a little bit smaller and not quite as heavy, so you don't want something too stiff. And then you do maintain the same stud pattern that you'll find across the entire Magista line, uh, which actually works pretty good, this being a firm ground layout. So on firm natural grass, the traction that it provides is quite good. Uh, similar to what we got from the previous generation Magista, just a little bit lower to the ground, and I would argue a little bit more stable as well, just because of the spread and general shape of the studs. But nonetheless, traction is gonna be pretty good from this particular stud pattern. Haven't heard too many complaints about it. And, and that's pretty much what you're getting here with the Junior Obra 2. It's essentially an Orden 2 branded as an Obra 2, but obviously in junior sizes. So. I gave you my reasons as to why I think they went with something like this versus shrinking down an Obra 2 to a junior size. I just don't think that perhaps the scale worked out or again, it would be an issue when it comes to pricing because if they were to make a shoe identical in the junior variation, it would have to be priced higher. And I'm not sure how many parents would be willing to spend $300 on a pair of uh, shoes for their kid that, like I said, they're likely to outgrow in one season's worth of use. So. That's pretty much it. Do I recommend it? It's really a matter of what you want. If you really, really want a mid-cut shoe in a junior size, this is one of very few options. I don't think that this is bad quality by any means, but it certainly isn't up to the same standard as what you'll get from the men's variation. In terms of weight, the Junior Obra 2 isn't really the same construction as the men's Obra 2, and because of that, it doesn't have the same kind of lightweight feel to it, especially considering that this is a much smaller size in comparison to most men's shoes. So I'm gonna actually weigh them for you today in real time using this scale side by side with a men's version of the Obra 2. The men's one is a size 9.5 US and the youth one that I have right here is a size 6 US. So there's quite a size difference between these two shoes, but you'll see what I'm getting at in just a second. So we'll start off with the men's variation, throw it on the scale, and you can see that they weigh in at 7.55 ounces, the equivalent of 214 grams, which is relatively lightweight for a shoe of this size. 
So remember those numbers, 7.55 ounces, 214 grams. We'll throw on the Junior Obra 2, which again is a size 6 US, significantly smaller. And you can see that they weigh in at 7.45 ounces, the equivalent of 211 grams. So these are only three grams lighter than the size 9.5 US Obra 2, which goes to show you that again, the construction process is very, very different. These are in comparison, technically heavier shoes because they're three and a half sizes smaller, but weigh pretty much the exact same thing. So do they feel heavy on your feet? No, not necessarily. But again, in comparison to the men's variation, it's just not the same construction at all. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Junior Nike Magista Obra 2. Like I explained throughout the video, this isn't really an Obra experience in terms of getting the same experience that you would from the men's variation of the shoe, but it's still a decent quality shoe, all things considered, and that you don't really have a lot of high-end options in the Junior sizing range. So if you absolutely must have something from the Magista line or you want a mid-cut shoe from Nike, again, while it's not really a Magista Obra, it's still a pretty decent shoe in comparison to pretty much everything else again in the junior sizing range so not a bad option just like i said not really an obra so uh, if you guys do have any questions at all regarding this shoe leave them down below in the comments and i definitely will get an answer out to you if you enjoyed today's video found it helpful and informative be sure to support it with a like if you are interested in a pair of these for yourself you can check out the review page on my website by either clicking the first link down below in the description or the little eye in the corner of the screen and on that page you will find buy it now links with exclusive sr for you coupon codes where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $150 retail price. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for watching.